Okay, let's find a derivative of y equals sine inverse of x. By the way, if you have requests for other videos, just leave them in the comments below. Okay, so what we're going to do is first transform this. What you can do is you can take the sine of both sides. So that means you're going to have sine of y equals sine of sine inverse of x. Now perhaps you'll recall from a class that the sine and the sine inverse are inverse functions. So that means you can cancel them off. So you can say then that the sine of y is equal to x sine and sine inverse cross off. Now remember something here, the y that you see is an angle and when it says x what we really mean is of course x over 1. Why is that important to know? Because now look at this uh, unit circle picture here. Let me zoom back out a little bit. So you have a vertical leg for a triangle, you have a horizontal leg and then this is 1. And it's like that because it's x divided by 1, right? So if sine of y is x divided by 1 then this is the vertical leg and the hypotenuse is 1 and the angle is right here. Now the sine inverse function, when it does operate, it returns values between negative pi over 2 and positive. So when you are in this quadrant here, or the fourth quadrant here, and the cosine of y is always greater than or equal to 0, because cosine of y is just the horizontal leg of the triangle here. Okay, so now getting back to here, we can say the following, that, that y is always between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2, and we're going to call A the horizontal leg of the triangle. In other words, it's also called cosine Y. So one more time, right? Cosine Y, I'm talking about this part where the brace is. So that means the following then. Using the Pythagorean theorem, because it is just a triangle, you would have A squared plus X squared equals 1. That gives you then A squared equals 1 minus X squared. Then you take square roots on both sides, as shown here. So you're going to have the root of a squared equals plus or minus, at first, the root of 1 minus x squared. But as we've just said, because you are in the quadrants 1 or 4, and because a really just stands for the cosine of y, that means we have to take the positive square root of 1 minus x squared. In other words, we can say cosine of y is the positive square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, so now going back to here, take a look. Since y is equal to sine inverse of x, and we know we can take sine on both sides, so sine of y equals x. From there, we can do implicit derivatives. We can do sine of y differentiated equals x differentiated. The primes mean differentiate. Now, when you do implicit derivatives, it look, works like this. You have to use the chain rule. So you'll have cosine of y times y prime. So derivative of the outside, copy the inside, multiply by the derivative of the inside. x prime, when you differentiate that, that's equal to 1. Then you divide both sides by cosine, so y prime is 1 over cosine y. But as we have just spent time establishing, this is equivalent to saying y prime equals 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, the positive 1, for the reasons I've explained. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and share, and check out my other videos. I'm Tom.